Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, this is part two. I'm trying to keep these videos nice and short, so nothing's hopefully going to be over 10 minutes. Uh, so in this video, all we're going to do is create the attributes of our bot, and we'll just test it and draw it to the screen. So what I've done is created a new file called bot.py, and I'm going to go ahead and import the file, or the library that I'm using in the first uh, file, the simple bot main. I'm also going to import color so I don't have to use sfml graphics.color in order to do what I want. And let's go ahead and create a bot. So bot and key, and there we go. Okay. And self.x is equal to x, and self.y is equal to y. So first thing we do is create our location, and that's just where the bot's going to be. And the second thing I'm going to do is create my delta x and my delta y. So delta x and delta y are just going to give you the direction and the speed in that direction that the bot is moving. So for example, if... Uh, let's see, 0.2. So let's say I set the variables like this. The bot every cycle, which in our case is hopefully going to be pushing the limit of 60 frames per second. If your computer is really slow, it probably won't. But most computers these days can push this program to 60 frames a second without any worries. Uh, so every cycle of the loop, every time the game loop or the program loop goes, this bot will increase its x location by 0.5 and its y location by negative 0.2. So if I were to start this bot in the middle of the screen, after the first cycle, it would be located at uh, 300.5 and 299.8. And then the next one, it would be 301.0 and 299.6 and so on like that okay so you can as you can see the bots moving more quickly to the right uh, than it would be moving up the screen okay so that's just the delta part uh, we're gonna add a bunch of other variables with location stuff uh, later but for now I'm just gonna add the stuff that will draw the bot to the screen so the bot circle is equal to SF uh, circle shape and once we create the circle shape object we are going to use circle dot radius uh, is equal to 5 and uh, circle dot fill color is equal to color 200 0 100 and bot circle dot position is equal to self.x and self.y. Alright, so that's really actually all you need in order to create this bot. So let's go ahead and pop back over here and test it out. So we're going to from bot, import bot, not bots, bot. Then we're going to create a bot and let's put it as I talked about before at the center of the screen and then let's draw the bot so I have a bot circle because our bots gonna be rep represented by a circle let me double check okay that works and this one gives us a single bot in the center of the screen and I've chosen this lovely purplish pink color for whatever reason I so this is a single bot, but the bot's not moving at all, and that's okay. Uh, let's go ahead and see if we can get the bot moving a little bit. So what I'm going to do is create a new method in here. And this is just going to say update movement. And it's not going to have any parameters except for self. And we'll say self.x plus equals self delta x and self dot y plus equals self dot delta y and then 
we need to, once we're done with that, we have to update the position here. So bot circle dot position will be equal to self dot x and oops, self dot x self dot y. All right, so now we have our bot and we have something that will help us move the bot. And I've still left delta x as 0.5 and delta y as uh, negative 0 0.2. So let's pop back over here. Right now we're drawing it and let's go ahead and after we draw it, we're gonna update it. So movement and let's run. Okay, and there we go. So as you can see, the bot is moving, moving, moving and I, eventually the bot's, the bot's gonna go off the screen. Uh, so we're gonna fix that in a later video. So that's the basics of getting, getting the bot moving. In the next video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a kind of the genes of the bot. We're going to create a run sequence, which is going to describe how the bot moves. And we'll look at that in some more detail and we'll create one and we'll watch how we can change the bot to move in different ways. So if you look back here at the original uh, code that I had, it looks a little different. I don't, I'm not drawing any bots down here. Uh, and if we run this, you'll see that each of these bots actually moves in a different way. Okay, so you can take a look at that yourself if you want. Uh, in the next video, we're going to look in more detail and see how to do this for ourselves. All right, so thanks for watching. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section and I'll get back to you soon. All right, thank you.